Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, girl, I am Tanya. Girl, I'm a fashion lover, thrift queen. Girl, I love all the things. So if that's your vibe, girl, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Just hit the subscribe button, what you waiting on? Subscribe to your girl, hit the uh, bell notification so you'll be notified every time that your girl drops a video. And so today we're just gonna get right into this Q&A, right? So I've been on YouTube for a little while. And so I feel like it's time to just kind of do a, you know, a little sit down, a little, you know, who am I? Girl, who's the girl behind TR? Who's that girl? So I wanted to do a Q&A video. So I made a post on the, on the community tab asking you guys to just ask me some questions. I got some really good questions. So I'm going to go through those. But I also wanted to just kind of do this just a little bit different. So one of my all-time favorite fashion content creators, influencers, girl social media guru is um, Janae Naylor. Y'all probably know her or remember her as High Low Lux, but y'all, before I got started with this content thing, it was her that inspired me to just jump on in and do this, right? So, right now on her YouTube channel, she currently has a series that she's called Style Unlocked, where she sits down with other creators and just kind of asks them fashion-related questions, style-related questions, and so I love the style of that. So I just wanted to kind of, you know what I'm saying, kind of incorporate that, do this a little bit different, and we just gonna get into the vibes. Now, I feel like these glasses are giving your girl a little glare, so I'm gonna take them off, but you know I had to give y'all me. <laughs> to start this video. So I'm gonna take these off. And girl, I hope I ain't greasy now. You know, I've been trying to work this whole little camera thing. So hopefully your girl ain't greasy. Oh, and then I see my pillow ain't pillowing. So let me let the pillow pillow. I'm mean, you know, chop the pillow, let the pillow pillow. So we're gonna get right into it. So the way that she does the videos is that she kind of asks them, you know, questions about themselves. And so I wanted to do this QA kind of in that style. So your girl is gonna um kind of go along with that format and I have my phone in my hand so if I'm looking down y'all know that that's the reason why so we're just gonna get right into it and so the first question that she always asks the um guests on her show um she asks them okay so who are you right so y'all want to know who I am <laughs> so I'm Tanya of course and for those who don't know if you don't follow me over on IG when I host my IG live sales usually after I get done with the live I come back on and we just do what I call the after party and during the after party you get to ask me any kind of questions whether it be personal, whether it be business. And so, you know, if you're an OG IG follower, some of this information is gonna be um, old to you, but for the newbies here on YouTube, I'm just gonna kinda give you the little rundown. So again, I am Tanya, if you don't know, I do have an almost 20 year old daughter. Um, and so, I got a degree in accounting. I got my, well, I got my degrees in accounting. Um, so my background is in finance and that's what I do nine to five. So my nine to five every single day um, is in finance and accounting. I'm a supervisor. I have a team of eight, eight analysts that work on my team. So that's nine to five. And then I get to pour into my passion, which is thrifted reality on the back end of all of that, right? And so just how I kind of got started in all of this. So I am like probably a lot of you, my mom and my auntie those were yard sellers. So back in the day, before there was internet, before there was, you know, you can get on there and Google something, it was the newspapers. So my mama would get that newspaper child on Friday night. Girl, she would go down there and circle which neighborhoods we were gonna hit up for the yard sales and we yard sailed. If I wasn't sitting on the lake, <laughs> Because my parents were fishers. If I wasn't sitting on the lake with them, girl, I was, we was at yard sales. So as a little girl, I already got to know, you know, someone else's trash can become your treasure. And so back then I really didn't, you know, have an understanding that that's really what it was, but that's what it was. And so um, fast forward to um, college, I got pregnant with my daughter young. Um, I graduated, matter of fact, I walked across the stage pregnant with her. Um, I was very fortunate though that my parents allowed me to stay at home and work from home, so or be at home with her. So they paid my rent um, and my utilities for almost the first year after I had her, and then they gave me like $150 for the month. Back then, y'all, gas was 99 cents, okay? So I made it do what it do. 
But, you know, I was also on WIC. Um, I was also on food stamps at the time. And so thrift stores was just where I had to go. That's where I went to decorate my apartment. That's where I went for, you know, all the toys and things for Anaya. Clothes we used to get there. So back then I did it really more so out of a need vice how I do it now out of just a love for it. Um, and I also, you know, like I said, graduated with a degree in business so i needed work attire i needed business attire and the thrift stores was, was just where i went to um so fast forward um to really the pandemic so um the pandemic you know for a lot of us we had time your girl had time due to the pandemic so because of the pandemic i just poured into this whole content creating wanted to figure out you know since i'm scrolling on instagram all the time i'm on social media i'm on youtube since I'm on here, I might as well do something with it. So I just decided to um, figure out what I was going to do or how I was going to make this a thing. And so, like I said in the beginning, you know, Janae Naylor, Hilo Lux was one of the content creators at the time that I just absolutely fell in love with. And I went back and studied. I went back and studied her Instagram. I studied, you know, that she did photos in front of the uh, mirror. She took the mirror photos. She had a flat lay and then she had like an inspirational quote. That's the formula that I used when I first started doing this. And then y'all, I didn't even know thrifting was a thing. But once I kind of tried to get into it, I found Aisha the Great and on the thrift and tell you all, if you follow me, I know you follow her, the GOAT, right? So one of her earlier videos back then, probably around about January, December, January, of 2020 um of 2021 or 2020 i've been doing this almost three years so 2020 um she has shared that you gotta create reels you gotta create the reels if you don't if you want to grow if you want to be a content creator that's what you have to do and i took that advice to heart and i still was you know trying to figure out okay so tanya what you gonna do how you gonna how you gonna do that and so i think i just told myself girl you get dressed for work every single day and oh that's how i was gonna do this this was really gonna be thrift for work like i was strictly just gonna stick to work fashion that's it but then it was like we're in the pandemic ain't nobody going to work that ain't gonna work <laughs> so i just decided you know what just share straight content anyway just just outfits looks just share it so i just knew that in the mornings y'all i girl i put put that music on I get up in that mirror, I'm jamming, I'm doing my little bit of makeup. And so I was just like, well, why not just do that and record it? And so if you know my Instagram, when I first started this, I kind of deemed myself as doing the thrifted karaoke. So I would just turn the music on, get dressed. Girl, I'm giving you all the lyrics. I'm singing, I'm jamming, I'm doing my thing. And it just picked up from there. I started with zero, zero following, a zero following. And like I said, reels were being pushed at the time with Instagram. And so I just, I just jumped in it. I just jumped, I dove in it. And that's just kind of how, you know, it got started. And then people were asking me, okay, so Tanya, what, are you gonna sell that? What, what, you, what you doing all that? And then I realized after like two months, like, okay, this is probably a thing. <laughs> like, maybe I do need to, to resell some of this stuff because I was thrifting all the time and I had so much stuff. Like, there wasn't a way I could keep it all. So that's just kind of how I turned into a reseller as well. People just were asking me to get the things that I was sharing. So, y'all, that's just how it kicked off. Now, how I got over here to YouTube, I think... The thing that sparked it with YouTube for me was YouTube Shorts. When YouTube pushed the shorts, and I don't know if that just started this year, but I jumped into it this year. And so when YouTube started pushing the shorts, I was like, oh, well, I could just repurpose the content that I'm putting out on Instagram. I could just throw that content here on YouTube Shorts and just see what happens. <laughs> here I am. Again, here I am. Repurposing the same content, but here I am. But what I had to realize is that People who are over on Instagram are not necessarily on YouTube. Who's on YouTube is not necessarily on Instagram. So it's just one of those social media conundrum things that you just have to figure out. But that's just kind of how this just kind of birthed and became a thing. Someone did ask me, how did I come up with the name Thrifted Reality? Y'all, I don't know. I don't know how I came up with that name. I think I went through so many iterations of what this was going to be. Um, and I think part of it was just... 
you know, the reality is you don't have to buy luxury in order to be that girl. Like, and, and, and in my opinion, I feel like, you know, when I find the vintage pieces, the quality of them is way more better than some of this new stuff that's coming out. So in my opinion, <laughs> my opinion. So, and I wanted to kind of pull the thrifted piece of what I'm doing into, you know, the content piece of what I'm doing. Y'all, I don't know why I feel like there's something like right there. Like, what is that? Maybe it's just me or the video. I don't know. Girl, it's me. Girl, it's me. Never mind that. But anyway, so the reality is I'm a thrifter. So, you know, you can look fly sustainably all the things so it just stuck with me although i am thinking about changing my name I, I am thinking about kind of going through a little name change simply because i just feel like um i don't want to say that thrifty reality kind of puts me in a box but it kind of the thrifty piece of that puts me in a box and i don't know necessarily that i want to just be stuck in the box or just only be known as just the girl that thrifts I just want to be known as a girl who loves fashion, who loves, you know, putting looks together, who loves inspiring, you know, people to um, get creative with their outfits. So I might have a little bit of a name change coming, but girl, I don't know. We gonna see. We we just gonna see. But all in all, that's how all of this got started, and that's just you know a little bit about me. All right, y'all. So. The next question that Janae normally asks is what are you wearing? So I'm gonna pop up a little clip or whatever of me just showing either here or there, showing you all what I have on. But right now I have on just the um, Rowing Blazer collection from Target. I purchased recently this past week cause stuff went on sale. Cause girl, when that stuff first came out, uh-uh. Okay, the prices weren't pricing for me. So I do have on the two piece kind of corduroy suit. Um, that I styled up, so you'll be able to see from the video what I'm wearing. And then, I, so one of the next questions that she asks is, "What are your three favorite style icons?" I love this question. I am just inspired all the time. So here's the thing. So of course, content creators, we at times just get into a creative bubble, like we get into a creative block. And so anytime that I kind of get into my creative block, I just go back to my inspirations or my style icons. I hopped on Pinterest, your girl gets on Pinterest, girl I get to scrolling, and I always go back to these three icons. Now I was gonna kind of break this up and do celebrities and then do, you know, other content creators, but I'm just gonna keep it at the celebrities because child girl, if I go through all of the others, I'll be leaving somebody out and I just don't wanna do that. So. Number one on my list, we all know, is Rihanna. Y'all, I cannot get over the good girl, gone bad, edgy, chic. I just love everything about her style. And I think the reason I love Rihanna so much is because I just feel like her, her style is her. Like it is her personality, it, even if she has a stylist. And I don't know if she does, but I'm pretty sure she does. But they just get her. Or she just knows herself so well that it just resonates for me in any and everything that she does. I love the tomboy chic vibe. And then homegirl will throw on that fitted cap, that baseball cap, that hat, that scarf, a pair of shades, Simple, easy, effortless, like Rihanna just gets it for me. For whatever, she just gets it. And I just love, 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 love that about her. I love that about her style. And y'all, sis laid down pregnant. Even pregnant, sis is serving all the looks. Like if I, in my next life, cause I ain't having no more kids, but in my next life, I would want to slay pregnancy the way she has slayed pregnancy and made that thing look so bomb. I'm just done with her. I am just completely done with her. So when I need some inspiration, Rihanna is definitely that girl. Okay, so my second icon would have to be Kalana Barfield Brown. Let me tell y'all something. When Homegirl dropped that collection with Target, when I tell y'all I got every single piece, so the thing about Kalana that I love is she just gives me sexy 
tomboy. Like her looks are always oversized. She just, she gets her body. She gets her, she just gets her. Because homegirl will always give me an oversized jean, either an oversized top with that, or she's gonna give me an oversized bottom, a crop top. She's gonna give me a tomboy look. She's gonna throw on that hat, baby, the red lip. Y'all are the red lip, let me tell you something. I have, I, the red lip has stuck out to me the most with her. If I had to put myself in the box of a celebrity that I absolutely love, it's gonna be Kalana. Hands down, point blank period, in a discussion, Kalana's gonna do it for me every single time. Nothing else to be said. And last but not least that I'm gonna mention in this video because I do have some honorable mentions, but y'all, Amanda Murray, if you are not following at London Girl and NYC, child circ 2021 when she had did that christopher john rogers collab with target when she styled that one dress i have been done hooked ever since now she definitely is in the more luxury realm but the way the girl styles some of this i you know i just love creatives and then i love that even with all the ones that i listed it doesn't appear to me that they have stylists they are their own strong creative personality and their style to me just resonates with what they choose to wear how she pairs it the combinations girl just the, and she don't do nothing but stand in her mirror at home and slay us from from the living room How you you just slaying us from the living room girl eats she eats for me every single time every time she posts amanda just is that girl so if you are not following Girl, y'all better go find London Girl in NYC. Amanda Murray, child girl, please. Child girl, please. She is bomb. All right, so the next question is the style, describe my style in three words. And I would have to say that my style for me, I feel like is a little bit edgy. Y'all, I do not know why the camera just cut off. Talking about the internal temp is too high. What? It, 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 it's negative 60 in here. Y'all need to hear no there. Anyway, so I was talking about my style. How about I describe it in three words? And I would have to say definitely edgy, feminine, a little bit of masculine, and sexy. I don't know. What y'all think? Did I get that right? I don't know. Y'all tell me. I feel like I wear all type of... I don't know, girl. Y'all tell me what y'all feel my style is. And we'll just come up with <laughs> whatever that is. All right, so... Someone did ask me, I think, what's my favorite thrift purchase or what did I, my first thrift purchase, something like that. Somebody asked me that. So I didn't drag all the things out here because y'all already know. Your girl, um, let me move this a little bit. So y'all already know your girl, I, I thrift a lot and I have a lot of things and I'd be here all day if I tried to share with you guys every single piece that I have found but I do have two pieces here that I'm gonna show you guys the first one of course is this blazer I hope it's not blowing it out but y'all it's this cream white cream blazer y'all it's got the Sun the moon girl I call it the Sun the moon and the stars on this bad boy but girl it's my absolute favorite. I've done looks with this. I'll post up something over here so you can see, but I've done looks with this blazer. This is one of my absolute favorites. I will never resell it. It will forever be in my closet. I love it just that much. So this will be the first, um, one of my favorite thrift finds. And then the second one, y'all, was is this suit. Child, girl, it's this red. Girl, blazer. It come with a skirt, but I've never worn the skirt with this. I've just worn the blazer. I freaking love an all-time favorite piece. Your girl will never, you hear me? I will never resell this. And I've had folks ask me all the time, and I don't, I don't wear it often. I keep it in my closet, but y'all, it's an absolute favorite. Hands down. And I, girl, I spent $10. I got this from a Value Village, girl. Can y'all see? I got this from a Value Village, sis, $10, right? $10. Bomb. <laughs> so those are the two things that are favorites of mine that I have thrifted. 
Then the next question is, what is my go-to outfit formula? So, go-to outfit formula for me is always gonna be a camo. Y'all know I love camos. I can dress camos up, dress camos down. Camo is always gonna be um, a formula for me. A bomb blazer, as you can see, I just showed you two of my favorites. I'm gonna have the bomb blazer. And then, probably for me, a set. I like sets because sets are easy. And you can dress sets up or down, whether that's a pantsuit set, skirt suit set, girl short set, blazer, girl a set. So it's gonna always be something oversized and it's gonna either be camo, a denim, a blazer. That's gonna be me every single time. Go-to formula, hands down. What is one of my most worn items? Girl, camo pants. Your girl's gonna, I'm camo. That's just period, camo, I'ma put that on. When did you find your style? This one was a good question, and I think my style kinda sorta just evolved over time. The one good thing that I think about thrifting is that you get to try or get to play with different, you get to play with different styles, right? So, or play with different trends. So you get to kinda figure out based on the trends, you know, what you like. I think it's important to find, you know, your favorite style icons like I have, or just your favorite content creators. And if you like something about her style, um, his or her style, what about his or her style that you like, right? And I would just play with that. I would play with that until you find that formula that's gonna always work for you. Um, and I think it's important, you know what I'm saying, to know your body, know what you know looks good, know what you feel confident in. I think style is all about personality and confidence. Half the stuff that I put on sometimes, y'all, the most basic it, basic outfit, but because you snap a little accessory on with it and you show up with your confidence, it takes the, that outfit or that look to a whole entirely new level. So I feel like you definitely need to make sure that you you know, y'all, this camera cut off again. Child girl. <laughs> I don't even remember where I was at. When did I find my style? Girl, I just found it. Whatever was said before, we gonna go with that and keep it moving. <laughs> and the last question that I'm gonna answer as part of this Tanya Unlocked is, what does personal style mean to me? And personal style, what personal style means to me is just, it's just an outward reflection of who you are. I think style should be you. It should be whatever you wake up and you feel the most comfortable in, whatever you wake up and you are excited to put that thing on, or when you step outside and you feel like, I'm, I put it on, I'm that girl, this, this look is given. That's what I feel like personal style is. It's your creativity, it's, it's you just in closed form. That's just what I feel personal style is to me. So, what I wanna do next is just get into some of the questions that you guys asked me from the community post. Um, some of them I've already answered, but I'll pop up um, the question on the screen and um, I'll just go from there and um, answer them. Y'all had some really, really good questions and I hope that I got to some of them in the earlier part of the video, but if not, we're just gonna, we're just gonna jump right in to the questions that were asked. So. The airy scent. Girl, you asked me some bomb questions. So she said, you're the queen of mixing patterns and colors and layering. Can you share how you start to build out your outfits? Sure, girl. So most of the time when I start to build out my outfits, it depends on the pieces. So if I want to style, let's say like a, cream, a yellow blazer, right? I already know I'm gonna start with the yellow blazer. What can go with the yellow blazer? Y'all already know the cam the formula for me is camos. I know that camo can go with anything. I'm gonna throw that on, right? If I know that I'm wearing an outfit and there's a, a print in it, right? As long as I feel like I pull another color from that main print and put it into the other print, it'll work. Especially if I know that I'm gonna mix the same color tones. So if I'm gonna mix the same color tones, it's just gonna give me the vibe that I'm looking for because it's the same color tone. Um, I know a lot of people like to use the color wheel. So they like to go, you know, girl, I don't know what's the word, primary to secondary, and then you gonna go what's across the, the, the uh, color chart and, and pair that together and zigzag it up this way and pair it together. 
Girl, it's just a matter of knowing just colors, combinations, and just mix that thing. A lot of times people put stuff together that don't match and it work. I think a lot of it is more so just knowing, you know, your, your vibe and what you're comfortable with. But usually if I pick a pattern and there's certain colors in it, I'm gonna coordinate in some kind of way with some type of pattern coordination with it. So she said, I'm curious, I'm so, I'm so curious if you remember one of your first thrifted pieces and do you still have it? I answered that earlier. It's the cream blazer with the gold moon and sun and stars. That was one of the first pieces I remember thrifting. Absolute favorite, love it. Um, I think I answered how did I find my style? I struggle with mine every few years. Yeah, it's just a matter of playing, playing with different things, seeing what's on trend, trying it, going to the thrift stores, finding it for less playing with the style and then going from there. And then what well, don't work, you don't work, you don't like it, it don't fit good, don't look good, girl, you don't wear it. <laughs> you just don't wear it. And you definitely don't wear it and share it. But it's all a matter of you liking it. I get a lot of times people comment, I don't like that, or you could have did this, or you could have did that. Girl, it's, it's, it's what I'm putting on. Whether you like it or not, it's take the inspiration or leave it. Neither here nor there, I'm gonna wear it. <laughs> What's your most prized thrifted finds? I shared that and then somebody, she also asked me, how was your Beyonce Renaissance experience? I think I'm still in shock after seeing her live. Girl, that whole Renaissance tour was everything. I think just the creativity of Beyonce. I don't know if it's all her brain, the people she has around her. It, it's, it, it just was creative on another level. The graphics, the visuals was just super dope to have been able to see in person. I get it's on TikTok, I get it's on YouTube, but to see, to have seen that in person, I'm still on a high of just how she is just creatively creative and different and out the box and talented. Girl, I'm still on, I'm still on a Renaissance high. Still on a high, girl. <laughs> So the next question came from Sharon Simpson and she asked me, you know, what was my full-time job? I gave y'all that, what's my age? Girl, do women share their age? Girl, I ain't shame. I already told you, I got a 20 year old daughter. Girl, I'm 41. I am a Taurus. My birthday is on Cinco de Mayo. Child girl, it is what it is. <laughs> you mentioned that your mom is a pastor. Do you also serve in ministry, girl? My mama is a pastor and I'm a preacher's daughter. Shall we go further? <laughs> What's your favorite fashion designer? I think I shared at least some of my favorite style icons. Fashion designers. Um, Y'all, I don't, you know, I don't know that I necessarily have a favorite because I just like fly-ish, no matter who designed it. Up and coming designers, Girl, doggone celebrity designers, girl, the girl next door, girl, if you make bombish, girl, I, I'm, I'm rocking with it. So my favorite store says so website to shop outside of thrift consignment stores website. So um, I stay, of course, you know, Zara is within the realm of my everyday budget. Okay, it's a step above, you know, some of these pretty little things and some of these other websites. So definitely Zara for sure. I've kind of tapped into Essence a little bit lately, just for, you know, some different kind of pieces. Not necessarily that I'm just super luxury, but I go to their site. Um, Farfetch, uh, I tried them one time. That's a no for me. But girl, I stay down to them people, pretty little thing. I'm on Nasty Girl. Um, Sheen, I don't really Sheen, Sheen, however you say it. I don't go down there very, very often. Every now and again, if I'm down there, it's because I've been influenced. But TikTok keeps me at Zara. Amazon for sure, because the girlies put in the work putting together them Amazon storefronts. They put in the work. Child girl, I be down to that. And girl, some of just anywhere that I feel like either people tag something or, you know, I'm looking for something specific. This guy made me get a whole new camera. Y'all, it done cut off again. <laughs> girl. I think I answered the website question. And then also my favorite fashion influencer. So I've already shared the girlies that inspire me. 
So let's go to Neem's Jack. So Neem's Jack asked me, how often do you assess your closet and get rid of pieces you don't wear anymore? What does that process look like for you? Asked by a woman who has uh, but I could wear a problem when I try to clean out my own closet. Girl, I understand. So I go through phases of, you know, I just need to get rid of stuff. So the good thing for me is that I am a reseller. So anytime that I just have pieces in my closet that I feel like I'm just tired of, I just go through them. Now, I'm not the girl that does like closet clean outs and rotate stuff for the seasons and all that. I, I'm not that girl. Um, haven't been that girl. I'm not even gonna pretend to try to be that girl. I just get to the point where I just have too much stuff. I can't store no, nothing else. So this stuff gotta go. Um, and a lot of times, you all, I'll share on Instagram, girl, I'll bag up six, seven, ten bags of stuff and just drop it back off at the thrift store just because I don't have the time. Um, and I have gotten to the point lately where I shop a bit more intentionally, meaning if I know that I'm not gonna resell a piece, if I can't figure out wearing that thing, if I'm in the store and I can't think of three ways to wear that particular item, I'm not buying it. I have left stuff in the store recently that have been super cute bond pieces, but when I first started this whole thing, I was buying stuff just because it was bomb and okay i'm gonna resell it and then i would never get to reselling it or i'm gonna buy it because it's bomb and i'm gonna style it up and never style it so i quit doing that um and so i just know that i go through my closet sometimes you know maybe once a year and i just be like okay tanya if you ain't worn this in six months if you ain't worn this in a year toss it put it in a live sale put it on your website i haven't really done the whole poshmark thing but get rid of it do not hold on to it because you know one of my um other bomb friends on instagram was just like ron was just like you know i just got to get rid of the old energy so i can bring in new energy so he just let stuff go and i'm starting to get like that as i kind of get into really sticking to the things that i know that i love um it's easy for me to sometimes to come down and just post looks and then put the piece up and go on about it, don't wear it again. Or, you know, you have pieces where you feel like, oh, I've done worn this already and I took photos in it already. I'm gonna toss it because I've already posted it on social media. And I need to do a better job of really purging and cleaning, but because I am a reseller, you know, a lot of stuff goes that way. Um, but I do have that problem where I feel like I hold on to things and I, I really have to be better at that. But, you know, you do want to really be intentional. And, you know, let's be honest, girl, money don't grow on trees. And so, you know, I just got to slow it down because I've even, even though I'm in finance and my degree is in finance, and I do budget and all that. That's not to say personally that I'm, I'm hitting every, I'm crossing every T and dotting every I over here, child girl, because I don't. I do shop, I do spend. Now, don't get me wrong, and my lights on, my mortgage is paid. <laughs> I got I got a savings, but I could be better. And so that's why I've kind of transitioned to trying to be a little bit more intentional on the shopping and the things that I'm buying. So, girl, you just have to let it go. You just have to bag it up and let it go. All right, so Kay Washington 7284 asked me, when did you get your eye for fashion? Who were your earliest fashion inspiration? What fashion mistakes have you made? And how has your fashion taste changed over the years? So, um, like I said, the eye for fashion just kind of came from me just trying different things, being inspired um, by other creators, creatives. Um, so, it just kind of came and I just, ran with it i just decided you know what the thing about it is all these people in the world somebody is going to resonate with what you like and so just share it anyway um and i've already shared kind of my early fashion inspirations what fashion mistakes have i made um what fashion mistakes have i made i don't know i don't know what fashion mistakes i mean i have had outfits that i'd be like ooh. I'll look back on it and be like, why did you do that? Um, or just trying to always keep up with the trend. I think sometimes once you figure out who you are, once you figure out what, what's you, then go with it. Like, I know there's a lot of girls who are resellers who love to resell a lot of those colorful, bright, 
multi-thing outfits. I just know, yeah, I just know that the colorful, that colorful stuff is not Tanya. It's not all me. Now, don't get me wrong. I do my, don't mind a few colorful pieces in my closet, but just an entire wardrobe full of just colorful, bright, colorful pieces, that's not me. Or an entire wardrobe full of sequin and all the razzle-dazzle. Like, to me, that doesn't create a, a co like a, how I want to call it. It doesn't create, you know, a wardrobe. You just have pieces, you know, and you want a wardrobe. You want to be able to, you know, throw that stuff together. And so I just had to quit, you know, grabbing every single thing that I saw just because it was bomb and I'm just trying to rush and get it. I just had to stop doing that. So that's probably, you know, one of the things that how has your fashion taste changed? How has it changed over the years? Um, I just think the thing is just getting to know Tanya and getting to trust Tanya and know that, you know, I can put the easiest outfit on, the most extra outfit on, the simplest, I can go casual, I can go glam, I can do it all. And it's just honing in on me, honing in on who you are. Once you hone in on who you are and you decide, okay, I'm just not a, t-shirt girl you just don't buy t-shirts no more or you're out of the era of wearing sneakers you just don't wear that no more or you get out of the era of i'm not walking around in heels all day every day i ain't got good knees okay i'm finna stop buying it so i think you just as you grow and evolve and your style changes you change and so you just shift things you know over time okay adrian mb6ff said when did thrifting your gorgeous finds become a passion do you alter, tailor your own clothes? Just wanted to say I love the channel and your style and personality. Thanks for letting everyone get to know you better through the Q&A. Girl, I love you back. Thank you so much for the question. So it became passion for me, like I said in the beginning, pandemic. Pandemic gave me time. It gave all of us time. And so it was just like, you know what? I also wanna be one of the ones who's out here sharing content. So let me go out here and put my spin on this creative world and I just fell in love with it. It gave me time and here I am. <laughs> Do I alter or tailor your clothes three times? Yes, I have, not all the time. It just depends on the piece. Now, as I've started working out and you know, the body is starting to change a little bit, I have gone and altered some things. Although I do think good tailoring, good altering is major key to how your clothes fit on you and the look that your clothes can give. A, a bomb tailoring on anything will definitely take it from level five to level 30, right? Get the stuff tailored. If it's too oversized, if it ain't structured, if it ain't fitting right, get the thing tailored, especially bottoms. I think bottoms, a good tailoring, especially on bottoms and blazers, hands down. Um, and so Kim Brown, 5723 said, what or who motivated you to start thrifting and styling on YouTube? Um, so I think who motivated me, like I said in the beginning, was Janae Naylor um, of Hilo Luck. She motivated me to kind of do this content creating. And then in the thrift space, I was motivated by Aisha the Great, um, Thrift and Tell. And they were the two women who I just felt like if they can do it, so can I. If they're willing to put themselves out there to create this world that they want to create, I can too. And so I just was motivated by their consistency, by their commitment to it, and by the possibilities of what it could become if I too was creative. I don't know where this would lead me in life. I don't know. Um, I still am one of those ones who haven't mapped out the five-year goal or plan and I think maybe part of it too is because I do love what I do nine to five but you know I do realize there are some people who have nine to fives who also are full-time content creators and it just works and so for me that's a goal I hope that it'll just work in whatever capacity that is I don't know um but I just feel like showing up being who you are your authentic self I think that just speaks for itself you don't have to you know, fake it to make it. You can just be who you are. That's it. I've shown up just as who I am. A country girl from Alabama with this baby single mom and here I am, 41 years old and creating. Your journey does not have to 
start or stop when someone else says that it should just start you just have to start and once you get started and you do what you are passionate about what you love doing i love this so it's not work and i love this and it's not work for me so that's just what has kept me going what inspires me what keeps me going and you know, I believe that you know what's meant for you in life will be for you in life. And so you just have to follow your dreams, follow your passions. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Yeah, you'll get the negativity, but the positives outweigh the negativity. And you just gotta keep it pushing because you're not gonna kill my dream or you're not gonna kill my goal just because you sitting behind the internet on the keyboard giving your woo 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 and you think that's just gonna make me stop what I'm doing. The devil is a lie. I'll never let nobody have that type of power or that type of control over me. So, yeah, y'all, that is the Q&A video. I hope this video is not super, super long. Girl, it might be because the camera done cut off 30 times. I feel like I had to restart 100 times. So, it just is what it is. But, y'all, if I didn't get to your question or if there's something else that you still want to know, follow on, just hit, just leave it down below. Your girl will definitely come back and answer. Y'all, I'm getting used to this whole camera setup situation type of thing. So I hope that this video was not too bad for you guys. I'm going to try to get off so I can get this edited and uploaded today. I love y'all so much. Thank you so much for the love and support that you all have given to me um, here over on YouTube. Like I said, it was a whole nother challenge for me um, at the start of this year that I wanted to be consistent with YouTube. Um, and I hope to, you know, continue to grow. Um, feel free to ask me anything. I'm an open book. I know some of you are not on Instagram, but if you are, don't forget to follow your girl over on Instagram at Thrifted Reality. Don't forget to subscribe to the video, like, comment down below. And I love y'all. I, I love y'all so much. This has just been a journey that you know, I, I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm thankful. I'm, I'm, I'm thankful um, for this and I love it. I love y'all. <sighs> Stay tuned for the next video. Next, next week's video will be an actual thrift video. I do already have it already ready and recorded, but I've been dropping videos just once a week. You know, girl, just trying to stay on that consistent thing. <laughs> Maybe one day we'll get to multiple videos a week, but you know, for right now, I'm dropping a new video every week. So like, comment, and subscribe, and I will chat with y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.